so let's get into it and this is how i like to do all of my closures and frontals i take it about an inch two inch past the line basically to give it more parting space when i put the wig on it makes it look a little bit more natural and realistic when you have the wig on and for four by four closures i always recommend doing this just to kind of help with making it appear as though you have more parting space so always put it about an inch or two past the line and we want to make sure that everything is lined up and straight and even on both sides so you can go ahead and stitch your closure down and i like to use a curved needle and um, i start about an inch from the very end because a lot of the times my knots are pretty big so I kind of just start about an inch up and then I work my way down and then I go back up everyone has their own method that's just my method um, you know this is kind of what I like to do I normally like to use a mesh dome cap but I didn't have one at the house for for me I had it for someone else but not for myself so it's all good. I'll just use a dome cap and, you know, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm sewing up one side and then I'm going to stop and then go to the other side. now it's time to go up the other side so the reason why I go up one side stop and then the other side right after that uh, for me and to me the the closure stays secure and it stays in place um, I when I first started I would just go all the way around and sometimes it would be kind of lumpy or be kind of uh, lopsided or like crooked so this way you know that your closure is um, centered correctly by going on one side stop and then going to the other side so that's my recommendation on doing your closures no matter what size four by four five by five or six by six this is uh, the way I like to do it to make sure that is even so we'll go ahead and watch me do that and then the next segment would be me just doing or adding the wefts to the cap. So I like to use a curved needle. Um, I like the long curved needles. And I stick the needle through the weft first, make my knot, pull it back, and then I start to 
I said the process. Um, you can definitely use whatever type of needle that you want. You can definitely use a straight needle, um, small needle. You know, definitely do what's um, best for your comfort level. For me, um, the curved needle is better for me, especially when I have long nails. I like the curved needle. I don't have long nails on this segment, but typically I do. And so that curved needle does everything for me. I was struggling right here, y'all. Listen. And I, it was all, well, of course, it was all my fault. But the way I had my camera or my phone, it was like right over my shoulder. But I was like not standing up all the way straight. And so I was trying to make sure. And I kept looking back at my phone to make sure it was recording. And it was a lot going on, y'all, right here. But I got the job done. I knew the assignment. And I got the job done. <laughs> so, um just go ahead and you know do your your uh, your wefting and um, I like to kind of stitch close together in the beginning and uh, I like to double knot it just to make sure those back tracks stay secure when I'm you know hand stitching from someone else I do the same because you know you don't want to make them you don't want to do it on every single knot because it can kind of tighten the cap now if that's what you're going for fine you know but if you're not, kind of be careful when you're doing that because you don't want to tighten the cap too much. And the reason why I'm using a dome cap is because I didn't have a mesh cap. I normally use mesh caps. And I did have one, but it wasn't for me. It was for someone else. And so I decided to go ahead and use a dome cap. And so that's what I'm using tonight. I like to use dome caps when I do my quick weave wigs which i'll do a video of i like to do like the 27 piece little pixie cut so that would be mm, a video coming up soon so can't wait to do that but anyway so here i am just stitching and i'll let you guys continue to watch it and enjoy Come through, curls. Come through. Yes, she is ready. Birthday hair was ready. Nice and bouncy and curly. No product on this hair. It just has its own natural 
bounce to it you know i love this hair all i did honestly when it was drying i just put a little bit of one and only argon oil on it while it air dry and that was it um and I'm, i'll put a link down in the uh, description box so you can check it out so now it's just time to cut under the closure because that's the part that's going to be on your scalp on your head and that's the part that everyone's going to see so you have to make sure that black piece is gone so that it can lay and look as natural as possible just be very careful you don't cut those not those uh thread or cut the thread when i made my very first wig i did <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I almost cried. I was so frustrated. I was so tired too. It was about five years ago. But uh, but anyway, just be careful. And um, I did after this part, I didn't show it, but I did add two combs and an elastic band in the wig um, to make sure I had a very, very secure fit. I don't believe in losing my wig. I don't understand it. I don't know how y'all doing it. Maybe it's for the gram but i don't play like that yeah and that was my 36th birthday it came out really nice y'all so um i'll make sure to link in where i got my accessories which is from my accessory store as well as my hair store so thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you in the next one god bless love y'all peace